Hey, y'all. Hey, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's feeling good and great and all that old shit. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Um, it is sunny outside. I hope you go outside and get you some sun. If you're a sun god, it's like my motherfucking self. You know, them go outside and bathe and it's good for you. Get you some vitamin D in more than one way. If you can. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into it. <clears throat> Guys, y'all know y'all, I don't know if I told y'all, but y'all know I love TV. I'm a TV person. I like TV and I like movies and shit like that. Like the flashing lights and shit. Like, I don't know. Like, it attracts me. So anyway, so as, <clears throat> also I love documentaries and shit. I love to hear about people's lives and whatever they went through and all this old shit. So I have been seeing this, um, uh, the, the documentary Bad Vegan. And I was like, uh, do I really want to watch that or whatever the case? But I was like, yeah, I think I will. But I was saving it. So I put it off, put it off, put it off. So then uh, one day I was at home and I had an enormous amount of time to just sit in front of the TV. So I was like, um, let me sit back. And I watched. And it was the same old fucking story. Like the same thing I told you all about with, with Nicki Minaj and her being around like uh, what she said, like Lil Wayne uh, was su suggesting to her that she should get her ass done and all that old shit. And then of course she, you know, she complied and, and she did it uh, or was persuaded by them to do it. And the same thing with this girl of the bloody vegan. Y'all know I don't know nobody's motherfucking name. I'm sorry, girl. I don't know your name. But anyway, she met some dude. First of all, bitches, if y'all hoes don't pay attention to the motherfucking red flag. Look, I know don't nobody want to be by themselves. Don't nobody want to be by themselves. They don't. Don't nobody want Because it's not a good, like, it's lonely. It's, but however, when you're by yourself, you're able to sit with yourself, get to know yourself, feed yourself positive reinforcement, um, look at yourself, love yourself, especially as, like, black women and you we need to you need to look at yourself love and, and men too look at yourself love yourself so you can be able to receive some love from somebody like not that you going you know because some people be going out and trying to 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 get love from somebody else and they don't even have it for themselves you know because self-love is first so you know what I'm saying? And, all, and all that and your confidence and your graciousness and, and all that's good about yourself, you need to harness that for you. So when you meet somebody, then you can you can um, send that off to somebody and hopefully that person have the same thing and you two will reciprocate that and your relationship will be more fluent, right? So anyway, so don't worry about it. So this girl, the, the bloody vegan, bloody vegan, Lord, the bad vegan, she, uh, what the fuck? So she was, she, whatever, she, she, she had a restaurant, whatever, that, that shit didn't work out. She got married to him, but I don't know if they got married, whatever, but then she met this other guy, whatever. Um, they communicate, I guess they communicate, no, they communicating through, um, social media or some shit like that, or some type of online dating shit, that online dating shit, y'all know how to, ooh, that shit. So here's the fucking red flag, back to that shit. So she said, she know, like, he was a big guy, like, he looked like he was muscular, but when she seen this motherfucker, he was a fat motherfucker. Ain't no offense, no fat motherfucker. I'm just saying, like, motherfucker, embrace love you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you love you, send who the fuck you is. Stop with all this old motherfucking falsifying motherfucking photographs, bitch. So when she met him, that was the first motherfucking red flag. This motherfucker did not represent who he was in the motherfucking picture. Like, I don't know if he put his picture or his face on top of somebody else's body or he showed a picture from him, like, 15 years ago. Yo, bitch. So that was a that was the first red flag that would have been like, nah, you're for me. And I think, like, for people, too, like, for everyone, y'all need to pay attention to this shit, like, when somebody is tricking you at the fucking very beginning. Like, you, you're not even fucking honest. Like, how the fuck? So, if, and if it's like that, then, like, you, you have to... Negotiate with yourself, like if if you just want some dick, you know what I'm saying. Or if it's, if it's a case for a man, if you just want some pussy, like should I still fuck this bitch, like man or woman, whoever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Should I still fuck? Cause you know, bitch, you a lot. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's a red motherfucking flag. Like you just sit there and said that. But anyway, so she she looks over it, you know. I look over it, and so she did, and um, they they went on and you know he, I, he wasn't a vegan but i think she kind of introduced him but still he you know he ate how he ate and because he was a big dude and then he started asking this bitch for money you know then we, we talked about this shit too now white women are caught from cut from a different cloth than black women 
especially when it comes to like with, with money. I think that Caucasian chicks are more um, like in the in the giving spectrum of of things. You know what I'm saying? When when it comes to you know a, a man, I, I was assumed because I've I've heard so many stories of the shit. But also with black women, like we be like, bitch, fuck, I ain't giving you no money. Now I ain't giving no man no money. Like if you ain't my man, like why am I? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? This, off subject, real quick. No, we're not really. But look, check this out. Why the friend? Now, this is my. This is my man. Like, we cool all this old shit. He called me up, yo, real, what you doing? I'm chilling. Yo, I'm going to come get you. We're going to scoop you. We're going to go blah, 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 hang out, whatever. Okay, cool. Then he going to be like, oh, you going to give me $40 for gas? Bitch, I didn't call to say I want to chill with you. Motherfucker. And normally, like, the way that we get around, like, we ride. I'm a cyclist. He's a cyclist. They Normally, he'll be like, yo, come meet me at blah, blah, blah. And I'll, you know, we'll, and we'll take off like that. Right? But now, you know, whatever, like, he got a little car situation. So, but that's not my problem. You don't got no gas to get to work the next week. That's not, see, and if you was a real motherfucker, see, that's the red motherfucking flag. You should have said that shit to me right off the jump. Like, yo, Will, yo, I need, can I get that? You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, like, I respect you more. But, of course, I said that to him, you know, uh, a day later. I was like, that shit didn't sit well with me. So I was like, nah, man, like, that shit, what the fuck was that? Like, Keep it 100 with me. I thought we was already on that type of time. But anyway, you just got to, you know, watch out for that. When people try to throw you for a motherfucking loop on they fuck shit, like, or they have a problem with asking you for shit, but then don't be sneaky about the shit. Motherfucker, clearly you don't have a problem with it because you can sneak around and say the shit. Just come straight out and say what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so she, so I believe that Caucasians, women are cut from a cover different cloth than, like, black women. Not to say that all black women are the same. No, all Caucasian women are not the same. We, we get that. But I think the masses of them, of, of people, can, can be, right? And all those shit fluctuates. Caucasian women tend to, like, if they friends or they got a man or whatever, he asks for man, they just be like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This man just came out, he asked her for, like, I don't know. It was like, in the K. I don't know, like, maybe it was five or six or ten, some shit like that. And then he was telling her all types, like, selling her all types of, like, just, it, it was the shit, you just gotta see it. The shit was just so fucking bizarre. I was just like, oh, okay. But she, she looked, she liked him, love him, I guess, like him. So she gave him money. And then, um, like, with, but black women, like, no, I'm, like, if you're not my man, if me, you don't have, like, we we not doing we not building something together like no I'm not really giving you no motherfucking money like unless like you like my friend and you cover me and you need and that's different or is it well yeah no no but if you a real motherfucker like my one friend like he wasn't a real motherfucker like he could have just came out and just said it and then I would have gave him like that's, that's nothing you know what I'm but then again you know a, a lot of some. You know, some motherfuckers just ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, I ain't got that shit to give you. You know what I'm saying? But he seen that this woman was a successful woman. However, she was drowning in debt. You know, when you have a business, you still got to pay for all this, all this, all this, all this. This woman had $2 million in motherfucking debt. That shit was wild. But she was still, she was making it happen. And so she met this dude who was doing the same shit as that, that, What's that? The Twindler, Swindler, Swindler, him? Like he was, he was doing the same shit to her that that dude was doing to them other women, basically. Like he was asking her, telling her this, giving this, and then he was like using like this spiritual thing because you know she felt like you know she she was like into that and it had an open mind. You know what I'm saying? It felt that she needed to do certain things and all this old shit. And then he was telling her, like, you know, that he would... Just a whole bunch of bullshit. You got to go and watch it. But the, the point is, is that she was giving, you know, just giving him money. And then the thing is, is like, do men think women are fucking gullible as fuck? Some men, a lot of men do think that shit. That's why you got to put let women, ladies, be strong, be strong in, in your opinions, be strong in your mind. Don't, like, don't, don't fall for the fuck shit. I had this one motherfucker told me it was this big ass fucking dog down the hallway. So somebody had a dog, right? So the dog was out. And mind you, the door that we have to get in and out, everybody's doors are fucking same. 
you have to pull the, the handle down. You, first, you got to unlock. Well, make sure that door lock. Unlock. You have to pull the door down and pull it towards you to go out, right? Bitch, now I know there's dogs who know how to open doors and shit because my sister have a dog and her dog knows how to open up the... She have a sliding door. He know how to jump up there, pull that shit to the side so it's open and he's walked through and all the do her other dogs come through. No, ain't no dog about to be pulling this shit down, pulling that shit back, and then it's quick. You he gotta run, like... Bitch, I said, you call the super, yo, it's a dog in the hallway. And he was like, oh, yeah, he opened the door on his own. Bitch, no, he didn't. No, the fuck he didn't. Unless they door is broke or some shit. But he have said a couple of fuck shit to be like, yo, this bitch, they, who the fuck? Yo, and I've been in like situations like that too. Like once, another situation where, um, I know this have to be men that you're dating or trying to like her, whatever the fuck. This other man doing business with him. So I had to pay to be a part of this, this situation. This motherfucker gonna tell me that he don't give receipts. Bitch, if you don't give receipts, then I don't give money. Like, that's not how I move. Like, I mean, I guess like, and then he do do a lot of shit that's surrounded around women. So maybe these women, I don't know, like how they take care of their receipts. Maybe they writing everything down, whatever. Hope you have to do a really good book, um, book work and shit. But no, motherfucker, you gonna give me a motherfucking, a document just in case, you know what I'm saying? Your motherfucking ass get audited. Your ass have shit to show that, yup, this is what I pay for, blah, 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 blah. Now, on his end, that their answer, if they contact you, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But I was there and I did pay, but, like, so, ladies, just don't, like, allow men to to take advantage of you or, or, or think that you dumb or some shit, because some men really do think that. Yo, I have read this book, right? It was called Neighbor Next Door. Okay, y'all know I don't remember. But it was so fucking good. It was about this, this, um... The, the successful, well, no, the, the father was a successful lawyer and it was like in the 50s or 60s or something like, you know, like when the shit was like extremely racist, well, it still is, you know, motherfuckers just hot and shit. And um, they moved into a white uh, neighborhood. But before all that, the the boy, you know, because he grew up like in the, the, the 30s, 40s, you know, the, the father, because it was his daughter who was telling the story. She said that her father told him that, you know, like, you know, he had to work for, like, these white people, and he, you know, that was back in the day, like, the shit was real fucked up, like, he had to go to the back, and, you know, they was treating him real poorly, and, you know, like, the, the evil shit that they fucking do, so he was just so happy to be alone with the, the, the Caucasian man, and he gonna say, you know who, you know, the two dumbest people on the earth, <laughs> so he said, a, a, a white woman, and, uh, I think he said, black people or some shit like that, you know, like some ignorant shit, but, and I say all that to say, is like, white men don't have no regard, like some of them, like, for, for their women, like, see, you look at the whole shit of that, that whole system and shit, like how these bitches wasn't even able to vote, bitch, you sit home, you do what the fuck I say, probably, you know, beating their ass and all this old shit, and raping them and all this old shit, like, just a whole bunch of shit that them motherfuckers, like, you know how they like to take history and, like, keep it quiet on their end, you know what I'm saying? So they don't have no regard for their own fucking women. And so they think that they're dumb and all this sort of shit. And some of them, not all, not, now ain't no, everybody's fucking dumb. You know what I'm saying? Or or think that way. But, you know, white men are like, you know, they, they fucked up in nature. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. And then your women, some, they also are too, because they follow behind y'all in, in the same pursuit, bitch. But the point is, ladies, do not allow men to motherfucking manipulate control your thought process um, and and just tell you what the fuck to do without you having like some type of thought behind it. Don't just go along to get along. Like, fuck all that. And, and no, honey, if you know something, you feel something, you're like, you just know, like, bitch, like, and you know this shit is wrong, like, what? <laughs> like, no, I had this, I, I, another motherfucking example. I had this guy, he was like, um, uh, he just instantly thought that my son was the one who knew all the, although he's good at it too, like all the, the, the IT shit. No, bitch, actually it's me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why he just instantly go, well, oh, I know your son, no. Mm -mm, not as much as me. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck you mean? Like, how they just instantly take, like, trying to diminish your smartness or think that you're not smart, and but yet, you know, the man is or whatever the fuck. Man, listen, ladies, y'all have to stand up and don't take this bullshit from these motherfuckers. Like, at all. If a man can't see you as his ego and he trying to play you like you some, some dumb bitch and you just follow along like it ain't nothing wrong with like if you're in a relationship and you want to and you're submissive to your man that that's okay because that's your man and but yeah like not that if he's trying to like um like diminish your smartness or try to degrade you in any way now that's now that's a whole nother next level shit that we talk about with this bloody I keep saying bloody vegan bad vegan and, and that Nicki Minaj and how you know they allowed them to get in their brain and control them and tell them to do like this is what you need to do you know what I'm saying and, and do this and you do it on some crazy shit without like you like really really thinking about the shit like you have your own fucking thoughts and think your own fucking thoughts and, and communicate that shit. Yo, another fuck. Yeah. Even my son, this little bitch. Like, I, I just think, I believe it's a man thing on some real shit. It don't matter like how old they motherfucking is. This little ugly motherfucker. So he gonna come home. Now he's already on punishment because he kept coming home at a certain time. And so, you know, I had, his father had to get involved and, you know, he wouldn't and talk to him, whatever the fuck. So he comes home. He know he on a punishment. He comes home and he was like, uh, and they had a dance that day at the school. So he said, Ma, can I go to the dance? And I said, what did your father say? And he was like, I'm asking you. He's asking me because he already know how, how I am, like, as a person, as a mother, Right? Like even when you're on a punch where like I'm real and he's the only child. Like, you know, I'm 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 not am I no, I'm just really nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel that I am. Although people say that I'm not, they call me a bitch and shit like that, but that's not true. I am not. But anyway, fuck y'all who think that. But anyway, maybe I am that. Who gives a fuck? So anyway, um I was like, yo, so what did he say? He was like, No, I'm asking you. What you mean you asked me? Like you was just with him and then you come home and you ask me. Like, because he already know how I am. And and I'm more than likely to say yes, right? Because I'm a woman. I mean, no, it's not because I'm a woman. Because this is who I am. And, and I look at the whole situation. My son is the only child. I know, like, you know, he like to be out. You know, and, and you know, I'm like, I'm I'm an I'm a understanding, a whole concept thinking type of a person. Like, and I know, like, he didn't do nothing that fucking vile to where, like, it's like, no, you can't do, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, so I was like, yo, yo, this little ugly motherfucker think he's slick. So I called his dad. I was like, I know I said, yo, call your dad. Ask him. See what he said. Because I was like, yeah, I, you know, because that's who I am. And so he was, so he was like, no, like hesitate. Then he finally called and, you know, he told him no and all this stuff. shit. Like, no, you fucked up. Like, no. And, and I was really like dead set on that. I was like, no, I'm not allowing him to go to this dance. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he did go to his father's house and I was just, you know. But then again, that is just who I am, like, as a person. Like, with, with my son, though. With, with my son, not with, like, everybody else. And then, like, I also think like this. Like he, like I said, he didn't do anything super foul to where, like, you know, he has to go sit in the corner, that type of shit. But, listen, ladies, we do. We have to stand on our motherfucking, stand firm in your motherfucking thought process. Don't allow people to manipulate you or even feel like they can manipulate you or talk you into doing shit that you know that you don't want to motherfucking do. Listen, back to the, I'm about to say bloody vegan again, bad vegan. She gave this motherfucker two million motherfucking dollars. And then come to find out, yo, this motherfucker had a whole game of problem. He was just scamming this bitch. Y'all got to pay attention to the red flags like early. The, the first one was that this motherfucker showed up and he's a big fat motherfucker and you wasn't a, the muscular dude that you claim to be. Ain't nothing wrong with being a fat motherfucker but it, living that shit. That's why I say like, I know a lot of people don't want to be alone but you gotta look at your motherfucking self. Like, and love who the fuck you is. Like, yo fucker, you don't like it, keep, keep it fucking pushing. But don't be lying while you on lying like you, this is you and all this old shit. And oh, and bitches with the filters, the people with the filters, 
That shit is fucking crazy. Like, I know, like, when you do a reel, this is the one thing on uh, IG, you know, the reel, the R-E-E-E-L, those little things, those 60 minutes jump offs. Um, they always got, like, they, they can, you know, manipulate your face and do all types of shit. Like, I just, some of them, like, really, like, like, I saw this one girl, and I was like, oh, she looks so pretty. And I was just thinking, like, oh, yeah, I forgot it's that fucking, that's, that's that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this world is just, it is what it is. But listen, ladies, I want y'all to stand firm in your thought process. Do not be easily manipulated and don't let a man make you feel like you, like, it's fucking gullible and stupid that you can't think for your motherfucking self, that you can't hold your own because, yes, you can and you do. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, did y'all watch that? Let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know what y'all think about men and, and men... Thinking women are fucking gullible. I've seen this shit like time and time and time and time and time and time again. Like how this shit just be happening. Then you think about the fucking president. Like he was like, he had just grabbed the bitches by the pussy. Yo, before I go, I do want to talk about this shit real quick. The motherfucking, and I know this is way over with, and I haven't been to talk about it, so it's going to be real quick. The Playboy shit and how all these bitches is coming out saying all these things that was happening to them. I'm, homegirl, you, like, I guess, like, he was kind of like a, well, he's not an innovator of, like, a, yeah, I guess, like, in, in a way, yeah. He, like, although ho and been around forever, but he doesn't switch that shit. And then I think men probably think that, too, because, you know, like, women, like, you think about women who prostitutes. You prostitute, and then you give your money to this man Girl, no. If I'm, if I'm out here laying and fucking motherfuckers, no, you you can get a percentage, motherfucker, for protection. But I'm, you're not getting all my motherfucking money. But as you see, that shit happened time and time and time, motherfucking again. So Hugh Hefner done came and he done done like innovated something like, or he didn't re uh, reinvent the wheel, but you know he had a little spin on it. You know, he got the naked bitches walking around and, and they are entertaining all these men. And then it was the era of the quailu. Like, ladies, you have to educate yourself about shit. And, and and all the shit starts at home. Like, y'all have to teach your daughters. Ain't nothing wrong with being in the sex industry. I, I just, I don't think there's definitely nothing wrong with it. Like, especially like being like uh, an exotic dance or even if you want to do that Hugh Hefner shit, whatever the fuck. But just make sure you know you, you about your motherfucking money and that's it. And you keep your eye focused on a whole bunch of motherfuckers that's in that room because not everybody is 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 good. You understand what I'm saying? So these ladies was coming out, they talking about all the shit that was happening to them and all this sort of shit. Bitch, what do you what did you what you what you what you what you what you, what you, what you thought? You know what I'm saying? Especially because we didn't we we don't teach our girls these things. And a lot of women are gonna go into these fields. Mick, kill me, Thomas, we got to keep our daughter off the pole. Why? Don't you go to the strip club? You, I'm sure you've been plenty of motherfucking times, motherfucker. You're not anti-motherfucking strip club. And ain't nothing wrong with that because that's a great way for a girl to make some money. But she just needs to be educated on, on that industry and how... Maybe I need to open up a goddamn school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get these bitches some certificates. Like, for real. But even when I was... In, in the game, and I would tell, like, I would see, like, girls, you could tell, like, the young girls, you know, they're young, you know what I'm saying, they body nice and tight and all this old shit, titties up here, all, all on their own and all this old shit, um, but I would always tell the young, my, no, I wasn't a whole bunch of young girls, I remember these one girls, this was, I, was, I was in Jersey, and I, rem like, this is, like, something that was stitched in my head, and I was just, like, yo, I told them, I didn't give them, like, the, the, the best, best, best advice. I should have gave them more. But the one thing I did tell them, because I know they're here for money. Because everybody need money, right? I said, you make your money and you get the fuck out. Like, you, this is not... I mean, you can make it a long-term career. You can even uh, fluctuate and do other different... You can be... You Maybe you become an owner of a motherfucking strip club. Maybe you become like a, a agent. Because when I first became... When I got into the... Um, erotic game as an exotic dancer, I had an agent who was sending me places, you know, which was good because there was like a protection, you know what I'm saying? Because you could, because you need that and also she got a percentage. So, like, 
Oh, fuck, uh, just, we have to just educate our children on the real world shit. Cause it's, it's and, and tell your girls to not be so motherfucking gullible when it comes to a motherfucking man. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and don't be so <sighs> quick to let people in your, in your life. Everybody don't belong in your life. And when you see the motherfucking red flag, that shit throw up. Oh, but you be like, oh, it was nice. Thank you. And go the opposite motherfucking way. That's it. Stop being with the thirsty shit. I know nobody will be. Work on yourself. Self-preservation is everything. Not just preservation of like, of course, taking care of yourself, but your mental, your physical, your spiritual, your emotional. You have to have all these things together. Your well-being is the most important thing in this motherfucking world. Like you. So do that. Take care of that lady. We already know we strong, we powerful and all this old shit. Do not allow some man to come in and try to diminish that or or um, make you feel some type of way and stand up for your motherfucking soul. Fuck out of here. And having them be dumb as shit. You know, that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow, like dumb ass fucking men, because it'd be a whole bunch of them and they'd be, I'll be looking like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> you dumb as shit. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that doesn't mean that a person isn't the nicest person. That don't mean, but I'm just saying, but don't, but don't try to motherfucking like, think that you fucking super... Sp- bitch, no. No, you're not. You dumb as shit. Like, yo, stop. What the fuck shit? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all watching, what y'all thought about it. And also, ladies, do y'all think that men think women in general are fucking gullible and, 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 and easy to be, be manipulated? And men, do you think women are easily to be, to be manipulated? Let's get the motherfucking conversation going. You already know this is your girl, Real. I am an intimacy coach slash seductress with a service called Seductive Art. In the Seductive Art program, I teach vis- visual stimulation. We have real sex talk. And I, we put on our heels, ladies, and I teach ESS, which is neurotic, sensual, and seductive dance. It's a whole... We have a like my our spectrum on um, sexuality and femininity as women. And my mission is to empower black women and men sexually. Um, this is my first book I've ever written. It's called Quickie. It's seven short erotic stories. You can read um, one story 20% for free. Um, of one, You can read 20% of one story for free. My bad. Um, and you can make your purchases for a dime. No, I think it's off now. Is it? Is today the 21st? I don't even know today. Exactly. Um, but it was 99 cents, but now it's it's a dollar ninety-nine. Get that read, read the fuck, fuck while you read. It's quickie by your erotic tales by real. Um, I'm also a designer. The name of my brand is Real Nice by Real All Things Fresh. Um oh, and mind you, okay, well, let me continue with that. I do have some new arrivals, which I'll be introducing later on today. I have some crop tops, ladies. And when I when I designed this crop top, I was thinking about my sisters because I hear so much fuck shit that be going on with about black women and black girls, like this, and and we are the motherfucking originators. Understand that, and this this shirt is for you. And rock that. You understand what I'm saying? So I have some new arrivals, and I also still have some dresses available. Easter is coming up. You want to step up in the church or wherever you go on to to a. a what the fuck is that? Like a luncheon or a brunch? You know, you will be coming in there. Ah, you understand what I'm saying? So, and the website will be at the bottom, which is real nice by real nice dot com. Real spell R I L L. You already know what the vibes. I like to say thank y'all so much for watching. If I resonate with you, hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Uh, what the fuck? Twitter, Facebook. All that little shit. I'd like to say thank y'all so much and y'all have a great one. All that information will be down in the bottom. Take care. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.